in my own in the dark room with nobody there. In the dark room. Now the good news. Ain't been singing the blues nearly as much. When I've been living with you, love me too much. When I say, kick it to me, I can make you better for you. Kick it to me, I can make you better for I'm just recording on my laptop. I also got this sunset lamp for $5. Okay, no, but I was going to hang up um, some stuff in my new room because I just moved. Applause! Um, and then I put on some music and the Kick It To Me song came on and, and it all just hit me. I was like, oh shit, I literally told TikTok I would be posting a video today on YouTube. So, because time doesn't exist and it's 9, 19 p.m., this still counts as today for me. Um, but basically, what I want, I, I basically brought it to TikTok how um, I was absorbing energy. Someone gave me some good words. They said, you were absorbing energy and it was like, and now you're in the moment of uh, putting it to the test. Like your skills, everything that you've learned to the test. And I was like, you know what? It's like that's exactly what's happening not to mention it's the start of aries season and i'm an aries rising both in western astrology and in vedic astrology too like i really i really do like i'm straight vibing this okay i'm getting off topic but basically um i wanted to talk about i wanted to make this video because i wanted to talk about um this song that i shared with somebody um as uh in one of my consultations i don't know why i'm having trouble talking right now Okay, I don't want this video to be so long. So basically, I went on TikTok and I was talking about this lesson that um, I'm coming to full overstanding of, right? And I was like, um, having an angel day today, um, a high frequency day, basically pulling my awareness and being like, hey, universe, like you speak to me through everything. Like that's essentially, that's essentially what it is. I don't know if you can hear my friends, if you can. I don't care, okay? Can't, can't control everybody. Um, anyway, but um, basically, um, I was having myself an angel day, and this song came on, uh, Kick It To Me by Sammy Ray and the Friends. And that song, actually, I found it maybe about three weeks ago, right before I moved out. And during that time, I feel like I had just um, understood the lesson. I've integrated the lesson, right? Um, no, I'm integrating the lesson right now. And the, the lesson is that when you're feeling emotional, when uh, when emotions are happening, when you're constantly thinking about the past, constantly thinking about maybe silly, stupid moments, it's like lean into that shit. I, I know that sounds crazy, but it's like lean into it because your emotions are the key to the next move. I know that's kind of weird, but um, I feel like it becomes easier as you get more in tune with yourself and you start asking yourself questions. And it's like during that time, it's like I'm feeling this emotion and my, um, it's like you, you, I'm, this is the first time I'm ever trying to explain it, but it's like, okay, good example. My mom always says, she's like, do it afraid, right? You know, um, instead of letting fear stop you, do it afraid. She actually commented on one of my recent YouTube videos and she was like, do it afraid. And that um, comment, I was like, hmm, I was like, there's a message here. And that's the thing is even, even uh, in, in the aha moment started early this morning at like four o'clock in the morning. Um, I was tired as a dog, but um, I had shit to do, okay? And like, this was the last moment. And I kept telling myself, I was like, do it tired. I was like, I know you're so tired. I was like, I just kind of kept reminding myself. I was like, I understand the moment that we're in right now. I understand the emotion. And it's like, and instead of just kind of letting the emotion sit and like cover over me, it's like we're working, a, we're, having, we're having a teamwork. I'm laughing because of the shadow. That's what I think about. I constantly am thinking about the higher self. The higher self cannot touch the emotions, right? Because the emotions are happening. Well, I mean, maybe they can touch the emotions, but like the emotions are affecting the physical body right now. But the physical body is also the higher self body. Like it's not separateness from each other. It's it's a it's a, um, a teamwork. And I'm thinking about, you know, when I move, you move just like that, like type thing. And so this song, uh, it came on today and um, it came it came after, honestly, after something I had been kind of procrastinating. Um, I finished, I turned it in the thing that I had to do tired. I turned it in and it went very well for me, right? To where... I kind of, I, I felt like a, a weight lifted off to my shoulder, like a breath of fresh air. And I was like, wow. And I was just thinking about my whole day and I'm looking at my candle fucking high as shit. Like the energy is just great. 
I feel great because it's like even though I experienced that emotion and I and I was so tired and honestly I really wanted to just lay down and just kind of fuck it and make an excuse I was like do it tired and I kept telling myself that and I was like that's the same thing as doing it afraid it's like even though these emotions are happening I'm not going to let them stop me and I know that's so hard for some people but the people who are aligned the people that understand are going to are, are going to understand me and that's what I'm understanding that test is 369 it's the truest expression of number three of yourself the truest expression of Imani in this uh character in this lifetime right plus the number six the inner knowing I, I talk I say this all the time and I think maybe just one day It'll just be so simple because it really is so simple. I'm getting off traffic topic. But basically, the song is called Kick It To Me. And when I listen to that song, I think that it's my higher self talking to me, right? I see 444 four, four, twice here. My higher self is talking to me, saying, hey, the song goes, kick it to me, I can make it better for you. Kick it to me, I can make it better for you. And I heard that song and I was like, damn. And you know what's crazy is the past week I've been telling people, I was like, the universe speaks to us because I wanted to talk about spiritual psychosis. And everybody was like, you think there's a sign in everything? Yes, because consciousness is everything. Everything is reflect giving off a certain vibration, yada, yada, yada. Okay. But I like to describe it. Now I've been describing it as if you've ever seen Transformers, Bumblebee, the character Bumblebee, he only speaks through uh, the radio, you know? turning to to like to each word but what's playing on the radio using what they can what frequencies are 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 given at the time that's the universe the universe is literally bumblebee speaking to us like that kind of so when i heard the song kick it to me and after this moment connecting it with me although yes it's like i'm dealing with these emotions it's like i push it back on my higher self i'm like this is hard but it's like i know i gotta i keep kind of i talk to myself i integrate the higher self more actually in those moments and these are the things i've been talking about people at my consultations i'm like spirituality isn't even i don't like to even say spirituality even more i almost wanted to delete some of my i did not expect that. my videos just i just have to talk but but I guess I, I, I wanted to go back and delete like my manifesting videos, but you know, that was my growth. Now I just don't want to put myself into a box, especially not spirituality. I don't, this is a way of life. Very much uh, things like uh, Hinduism and Buddhism, something I've learned that it's not a religion, it's a way of life. This is how life is. It's not put me in a box, bro. 666 six, six on the clock, inner knowing, higher self, tuning inward to move through cycles. I was just telling my friend downstairs, I was like, we're all here for a lesson. I was like, sometimes I was like, I get mad at myself, not get mad at myself, but I'm like, damn, because I do remember that, damn, after this is over, like, I'm gonna forget this. Like, life is but a dream. I really did not expect this to be such a long video, but I, I'm understanding. I'm understanding those, uh, the why I called them stream of consciousness because sometimes I just turn on the video and, and I talk and right now honestly I feel like I, I feel like my powers are getting stronger no I've just kind of been tapping in so much especially doing consultations every day please book a consultation that's like my job now it's kind of cool but um I love talking to people about consciousness about stuff that I've really learned and hopefully I'll be able to, sh to share it more but this really is how I've been working and moving through life and, and I've just been explaining it to the people around me and I just see how my my words affect people people crying on my zoom calls I don't even want that to be like a, a scary gesture because people always go I'm, I'm about to cry I don't want to cry and I'm like cry do it bro get that out that's an emotion transmute it babes you're an alchemist I always say the same thing I think I kind of developed that for my sister babes because it's funny because I want to kind of, I want people to understand that, again, it's a way of life. I tell people all the time, and I'll tell YouTube too, this is the mudra for fluidity. I won't go too deep into it, but there is a lot of breath work and everything that you need to do. And um, But it's about flowing. It reminds me about traversing through this space and time, moving forward. To me, an abundant like mindset is saying that I don't lack in anything. I'm here to learn. 
when when I think about abundant like mindset, I think that even in the low moments, the frequency, the low moments, I'm still grateful because I know that everything I learn here is then going to ammo me up and, and it just so on and so forth because we're traversing through space and time. I was talking about this, God, I'm all over the place, but that's all right, that's me. My truest expression of Imani, three, 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 three. three. I do the fluidity mudra when I am on the toilet pooping to help flow. I tell people that all the time. That to me is spirituality, but a way of life. Tapping into yourself in different essences. Oh. Thanks for listening, guys. Hey, listen. Only. Not when you.